All right, guys, Panda here with you, and welcome back to the channel. Yep, still cruising around at Route 11. We're uh, a red zone at Luska right now. Got a sign here. Got some places, actually quite a few places to check out. But, oh, my gosh, I seem to be having a problem with my body. What the hell? <laughs> Guess the deck shorts are too much. Those don't work either. Low riders. Yeah, those will work. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of bodies, though, you know, I have a sleek mesh body. Yeah, uh, here, once I actually go and do it, I'm going to start with a, a new mesh head first. I had someone in the comments mention that uh, Catwa had a, a gift or a free a unisex head. And I was at Catwa. Oh, about an hour ago before the uh, region went offline. I looked everywhere there. Everywhere, you know, went to the teleport areas, the markers for the gifts and the free stuff. And there was no free unisex head. So it was probably limited time. I remember hearing something about that uh, like a month ago or something. But yeah, I could not find a unisex head. But if I go with a mesh head, a bento head, I'm probably going to go with uh, something from uh, Let Lutka. So we'll have to see. Once we get there. Anyways, we're going to church, people. Yeah. Kind of a cool looking area, actually. I like how they have this done. Kind of take a look at the surroundings first, though. I like the old uh, ruins, the old temple style uh, textures that they've used in here. This is pretty cool. Got some little seats here you can sit out here and get yourself a monk costume. Be a monk. Church and monastery. Nice, actually. This is pretty cool. Here, let's see what we got going here. Do we have like a crypt or something we can go into? I don't know. Probably get stuck if we do anything at all, right? Got yeah, a bit though, it's a nice design. You know, it has a nice aesthetic to it. Come back here. I think maybe like there'd be a secret grave back there or something, right? So here we have a little uh, tower. Ooh, man, I don't like that cutting out, but cutting out stuff always, always bugs me. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, we got stuck? Seriously? Okay, well, let's see if we can get out of here. Get off of there. What the freaking hell? All right, here. There we go. Anyways, okay, yeah, it just comes up to a little uh, bell, bell tower. Let's take a closer look from up here. That's a bell tower. I think the bell actually works. Think about that. Okay, let's come down here to the actual church. Whoa. All right. Come in here and uh, you can have some quiet time. This temple actually looks kind of familiar. I think that I might have had one of these uh, similar temples but on a bigger scale, let's take a look. I think it's all one build, but I don't know. Let's see what this one's about. Whoops, I'm not hitting the building. Nope, not the one I was thinking about. Somewhere in uh, oh, either my inventory or one of my alts inventories, I have a bigger temple. I mean, it's huge. It takes like a, a full 4096 put it on, but it's, it's a nice, it's a nice place excellent for like a club kind of like a gothic type of setup yeah you know we come into places like this I, you know i'm not ex extremely religious in real life anymore i'm actually 
you know, I'm spiritual, yeah, but, you know, I have my own beliefs and kind of, you know, just what I tend to uh, believe in. But I don't discount any uh, what other people believe in. I don't try to shove down other people's throats what I believe in. So, yeah, this is nice to uh, come here, just kind of a peaceful place to uh, reflect. Here, let's go ahead and sit. See? Page up or page down, change your pose. Huh. Yeah, I guess that does work, doesn't it? Oh. I'm going to pray. Pray for all of the brave people. All the people that you know, are struggling in these trying times. Hell, I think a lot of uh, people were struggling even before all these trying times came up and happened, right? I always try to help out and give to the less fortunate when I can do that. Contribute around my neighborhood, help other people out. You know, that type of uh, altruism, you know, exists. But I know some people argue and say, well, no, because, you know, how can you truly be, you know, an altruistic person? And not expect something in return. I mean, even if you're not getting anything in return, you're still getting something in return. You know, even if it's a feeling of self-worth or gratification. You know, feeling better as a human being, helping someone else out. You're still getting someone, you know, something in return. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Of course, people nowadays, you know, you do something for anyone. And, you know, we're, we're all programmed this way too. Um, you know, nothing's for free. There's always a price to something, you know, and, or, you know, you help a buddy out, just out of the goodness of your heart. You know, let's say you get in a really bad fight, say two years later. And how often are you to throw that back up to somebody? Or how often has that happened to you in your real life? You've done something, you help someone out, or you open up, you're emotional to someone and you get in a fight, they turn around, they use that against you, you know, as if it's a weakness, you know, so you gotta be careful what you tell other people. And sometimes even your best friends, your significant others, yeah, you, man, you just got to be really careful. This day and age and how everyone's grown up and what everyone kind of expects as far as roles go, even gender roles and everything, yeah, it's totally way different. Over the last 40 years, you know, certain movements have changed all of that. And, you know, now, you know, here we are, you know, we're seeing the backlash of that stuff. I mean, look at the workplaces. You know, and granted, you know, I have complete respect for women, the plights they go through, you know, if there's actually something happening at the workplace. But, you know, the fact is that workplaces now, you know, guys don't want to possibly be in a situation where just, hey, this woman is, you know, vengeful or just having a bad day. And you get on the bad side of that, you know, her having an attitude or overreacting, you know, it's, you know, and it does happen. You know, people do not tell the truth. People make stories up for monetary gain or for publicity or just to spite somebody because something didn't go their way. So yeah, you know, th this is the times we live in. It's pretty bad, but it's true. A lot of shit's changing and you're gonna see it continue to change. But yeah, you know, that's why we do these road tours, show you guys what's going on around the world on Second Life. And to have a little bit of a discussion on the side, too, you know? No reason we can't all share a little bit of cheese and uh, crackers. Yep. Open a bottle. Wine. Break the cheese. Have a good time. You know, that's what this is all about. You know, we're all safe. We can hide behind our screens, right? So. But we can all have a voice as well. But yeah, hey. Nice little church here. Come check it out. Luska Res Zone, moderate area. And as I've shown you several times on different road tour series, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, I know they have different rules about, hey, what's behind closed doors and whatnot. 
you know, making sure people can't see, but yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not surprised by things that I've discovered in general regions, you know. I think you want to be kind of careful with some things like that, though. Um, new tunes, and, you know, you do get kids that come and they do play this game. You know, so be mindful of that. Other than that, guys, hope you're doing great. And we'll be back again with another Road Tour series. Take care.